Guys, I can't really even pair. I'm in Milan, finally. You are not gonna believe this hostel. This is by far the best hostel that I've ever, ever stayed at. And I've stayed at a few now. As you come in, the ensuite, it does have a hair dryer. You'll be glad to know. I was literally panicking thinking, oh, I hope they have a hair dryer because this hair ain't gonna stay clean for that long. Got a place to put our bag. So I brought a padlock with me so that I could lock some stuff away. It's a very basic room, but it literally has everything you need. When I walk down, you've got the four beds. There is only four people staying in this room and it's an all girls dorm. So there won't be any men intruding. She never stayed in a mixed dorm. She never, this is my little bed. Ignore all the mess. I'm just getting ready to go out. There's two people that have already arrived and we're just waiting on one more person um however i think a lot of people only stay in milan for a couple of days so i feel like i'm gonna be like the longest person here look how nice that window is literally it's beautiful and when i show you the actual outside of the building you're gonna be so shocked it's so nice so let me grab my key because i don't want to lock myself out and then i will show you what's out there it's so nice literally the building is beautiful look at that please oh my goodness and then they've got this really really cute courtyard down here where everyone sort of socializes so i'm gonna have a look, little look down there in a minute but i'm also gonna go to floor one oh, see, even look at that little tap why is it so cute so this is the kitchen Oh my gosh, isn't it just the kitchen of dreams? Look at all the pink. Wow. Okay guys, probably looks like I haven't even left the hostel today, but I can promise you I have. Um, I went to go and get some food shopping. I just got some like lunchy little bits that I can have in the hostel and to take with me when I go out in the day so I don't end up spending an arm and a leg um, but I am going to go for dinner in a minute I'm not actually sure where I'm going to go there's one of two places that I want to go there's a pizza place that looks amazing I probably will end up going to both of them whilst I'm here um, so I think I really fancy a bit of pasta so I'm going to have some pasta guys
everybody. I am just walking into central Milan this morning. I have had my breakfast at the hostel and I've got a coffee to go. I'm walking along the river at the moment and it's so, so pretty. I'm gonna have to show you. So I actually walked up here last night and the nightlife down here is so, so good. Yeah, coffee's in hand. I'm just having a little walk down into the central. so many steps to get up there so make sure you're prepared for that do not wear any sandals or anything make sure you wear trainers thank goodness i did they don't let you in if you've got high heels on or anything so don't even bother also make sure you cover up because i made the stupid mistake of not bringing my jacket and i had to go and buy a three euro cover up at the gift shop so just make sure that you come prepared at the moment it's like 26 degrees or something so it is very hot starstruck by Starbucks. I don't even know if that's possible, but it was literally stunning. So if you're going to Milan, make sure you go there because it does not disappoint. It is such a cool place. Um, and the prices are just pretty much the same. Um, the menu is a little different, but obviously that's expected. So I got the Il Piemont Tese. Tese? Um, don't ask me how to pronounce it, but I will um, write what it's called now. And then if you guys want to try it, then obviously you can as well. I've just got some snacks with me, so I'm going to sit down, have them, and then decide where I'm going next. I think I'm going to go, the direction that I'm heading is to the castle, so I think I'm going to head that way and then see how I get on. So I'm ended up at McDonald's, obviously. There's not much time where I don't come to McDonald's when I'm abroad. If you have not tried these, you are missing out. Let me just bite into it so I can show you what's inside. It is tomato, tomato, right? Tomato and mozzarella. In like, I don't really know. It kind of tastes like a donut, but it's got tomato and mozzarella in it. It's so good, so so yummy. If you are in Italy, make sure you try these. Those really early and everyone in my room was sleeping so this is the first chance I've really had to film um, but I'm here I cannot believe it is so so nice way beyond my expectations literally I can't I can't go over it there's already so many people here and it's currently 10 past 11 so it's only gonna get busier so I'm gonna try and get all of the pictures that I can done now and then yeah I just I just really can't get over that I'm here this is literally a dream I've wanted to go here literally forever so yes um, I'm gonna go now I'm gonna go and explore and I'll catch up with you later Hello 
everybody i'm back in the hospital after the most amazing surreal day literally it was so much fun and i've literally i've never seen anything like that in my life like that was just a crazy crazy experience but i am absolutely exhausted the hostel kindly make my bed every single day so when i get back to the hostel it's all tidy it's all clean i wanted to update you on what went on today because obviously i've just been here there and everywhere i haven't really had time to just like sit film like it's been a bit of a chaotic day i got the train from milan to verena and then i got a ferry from verena to bellagio and then from Bellagio, I went to Co. To Co. If you get the longer ferry, it takes like an hour and a half, two hours. So you get to see like each individual stop. But then obviously, if you want to get off, you can. But I stayed on it because I wanted to go right the way through till the end. And I can see why people ha spend more than one day there now because there is literally so many places to go to so many photo opportunities like so many things that i didn't know were there i got to see where star wars was filmed i got to see george clooney's house you're literally surrounded by the most amazing scenery ever um so when i got to como my plan was i was only going to hang around there for like an hour my plan slightly changed because on sundays their ferry service is like slightly reduced because it's a sunday didn't really think this through initially my so i had to go to the ticket office and get another ticket to return because you could only get your return ticket when you were actually there so i bought my return ticket and i said when's the next one available because i was hoping to just hop on the next one which i was like you know thinking it's going to be an hour it wasn't it was two so by two hours time the sun was setting and so i was like crap like i'm not gonna be able to go anywhere else now the last train from verena to milan was nine o'clock and this got me into verena at like ten past eight so i didn't really have that much time in verena before i then caught the train i did miss out going to menagio but i feel like i'll definitely be going back there because i know that my mum really wants to go and i think it'd be a really cool place for me to take her so yeah that's what i'm thinking well, i'll definitely go um again in the future and just tick off a few more things that i wanted to do i've decided to keep it simple tomorrow just have like quite a chill day it's meant to be really nice weather so i'll probably go on some nice walk also going to the immersive spa which honestly i'm beyond excited for i cannot wait to go that is something that i've wanted to do for ages as well so the fact that i'm actually doing all these things on this trip oh can't wait make sure to follow my instagram and you'll be able to see all the posts obviously when i do edit this vlog all of them should be up by then Good morning everybody. I have woke up, been down for breakfast and I've just come back, had a shower, got ready and I'm ready to start my day. So I'm starting it a bit later than I have been the past few days but I was so tired I just needed to get on my sleeping so I didn't actually get out of bed until 10. I don't really have that much of a plan today. I'm just going to have a little look on TikTok, see if there's any cool places that I can go. Um, because I've done, obviously, quite a lot of Milan, and there's actually train strikes today, so I won't be going anywhere on the train. I did really want to go to Lugano, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it now, because if I go, I'm going to have to go tomorrow, and my flight's also tomorrow, so I'd just rather be around here. So, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do, but I will be sure to let you know. Um, the weather is looking absolutely gorgeous out there. Let me just show you. I don't know. So, 
So guys, I'm currently at Sempione Park and I've just hired a bike, I've had a little cycle around the whole park and it's just such a good way of seeing it. I think the pass is like five pounds for 24 hours. lunch is 24 euros for the one that I had I think there was an option where you got a little bit more um, but I'm just gonna show you what I've got because it's actually insane I got the tuna salad with loads of bread and loads of different cheese and then I got a chocolate cake and pancakes and banana this is such a random selection and a glass of chardonnay because obviously I'm not gonna turn down a glass of wine um, but yeah that's everything I got this now and then I think my time will be up at the spa. Guys, I'm telling you, you need to put this on your bucket list. I kept seeing this spa all over TikTok and I knew that I just had to go. Oh, 